we will learn import export in jira how to do that one how to do the project import how to take the backup of the jira how to restore the system and all we'll learn go to cog button click on system go down under import export you will get option backup jira okay so your backup file is going to share uh, uh, like store in this location i am going to give the backup one okay click on the backup it will create the backup attachments is not going to backup you already saw it data exported to this zip file is got created okay so my backup is gone uh, saved in this location go up restore system if you want to restore then uh, take it from your backup file okay we already uh, created it backup one okay click on restore it, it's not at file so if your file is there in the import file then it will take it okay like this you can restore the system let's click project import if you want to do the project import you can do jira test project i'm going to import click on next backup dot zip file is not valid the part to the backup zip file file name enter the new zero backup contains the project okay backup one you can check this project import like what uh, i will show you another way to import the project okay external system import this is for your uh, if you want to create your system from uh, from the csp or json if you want to import something with the help of csp with the help of this json just select the csp file okay and after that csp file just uh, i will show you in this separate video the csp json for json i already created the video you can check it out and uh, a last option is migrate to cloud i am using the data center version if you want to migrate to cloud you can uh, with the help of this uh, product uh, you can migrate your data you can prepare for the apps and assessment and you can migrate to the cloud so like this you can do this so this is the project import and export let me show you the project import another option set setting okay go up here you will get option select integration audit details so okay in this new version it's not showing but from here also you can uh, go to that uh, external system import option but in the, this is the latest version so they have removed it but in earlier version okay 7 or 8 version 8.5 and all i was able to see it thank you for watching